Hey guys, this is Jeff from the Digital Lounge, and today I'm going to have a quick tutorial for you guys about how to transfer audio files from Premiere to Audition, do a quick edit with them, and then move them back to Premiere. So here I have uh, one of my own projects called Frame. Alright, so for this example, we're going to head, we click on the clip, right click it, and then you're going to go to Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. And that will automatically transfer you back to, uh, transfer you straight to Audition. Uh, from there, we have the clip here. You can see we can Nothing, move huh? the playhead around. Standard stuff, if you'd like, you can use the trim tool. You could select a bit, delete it off. It commands you to undo that. Um, other quick little things, you know, if you want to quickly change the gain, raise the volume up a bit, you can turn it down here, raise it up like that. Uh, so, just to do a quick effect on it, let's go ahead and go up here to our effects tab. And something cool you can do is you can go to, we're going to go to filter and EQ, go to your graphic equalizer, that's the basic EQ in Audition. And what we can do with here, here, let me get those to zero real quick while I'm talking, um, is that we can adjust the frequencies of a voice and make it sound like it's coming out of a telephone or a radio. Uh, this is a pretty easy effect to achieve. There's even some presets on it that'll do it for you. 1965 makes it sound like it's coming out of an old movie. But just to explain the premise real quick, uh, these are the low frequencies in your voice, and this is the high frequencies. And what I can do is I can completely cut them off, cut off the lows here, and then cut off the highs. And we're going to play the clip back. Well, I... Guess I'm supposed to be doing the talking anyway. Nothing, huh? So you can see there that uh, my voice, now that I only have the midtones, this is kind of like creating your own notch filter is what it's called. And that's essentially the telephone effect. Like, you can make it even more extreme as we get closer to the mid-range where uh, most, of the, most of a human voice would be, would be in this mid-range. You can cut it off even more on these sides and it'll be even more extreme. Well, I... I guess I'm supposed to be doing the talking anyway. Nothing, huh? Well, I... So you can see now it's like old wartime radio or something. So play around with these, do different variations of it to kind of find the effect you're looking for. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, all you have to do now is press apply. And then go up here and save the project. Now if you jump back to Premiere, there's your frame. It'll now be green, showing that it's been edited in Audition. So again, this is Jeff from the Digital Lounge, and hope this tutorial was helpful. Have a good one, guys.